and all this all this power whatever power i have and whatever influence i could do it is more for an ecological uh, balance and of course uh, saving the mother earth and saving vasudhaika kutumbam and it is not just for earth is not just for few humans it is for all of us and me and kandre ji we share the same uh, dream and same aspirations and the moment he started speaking the moment he initiated the dialogue it was so amazing to learn from him the man of such commitment man of highest aspirations and we could see that our bonding beyond politics we could i could uh, connect in at a personal level with kandreji and i would like to see in future will our relationship will grow together which would benefit both the states uh, kandreji i am grateful to you for initiating this and uh, uh, supporting us So in short, we went for a seven-point uh, uh, agenda. One is about red sand smuggling. The second one is about uh, IT initiatives. How uh, IT initiatives are uh, making wildlife management and forest management quite well through IT initiatives. And second is about uh, eco tourism uh, initiative, which Karnataka is at the uh, forefront. And of course, about wildlife poaching and how to contain it. That is one aspect. and the last one is elephant and human conflict and elephant movement tracking and later on uh, rest of the two was how to transfer of knowledge and constant interaction so we in broad these are uh, these are the seven topics we discussed and we going to on 12th of this month and i also would like to thank honorable uh, kandre ji for the extending the invitation for international conference on human elephant conflict management uh, on uh, August 12th uh, thank you sir i would like to thank you one more in front of the uh, media and i thank you for this uh, as i have a meeting on 12th uh um, i have a review meeting uh, with honorable cm uh, sri chandrabab naidu garu and if he could uh, i'll seek his uh, i mean uh, to excuse me from that meeting if that he could uh, give me that extension man if he could uh, relieve me from that meeting definitely i'll be there on 12th sir i would like to bring it to notice i will be there and i'll request honorable cm uh, to consider that part uh, because the uh, last two meetings we had been cancelling that's why it has become the uh, first meeting i would have easily i could have conveyed it because third meeting so i'll i'll seek his uh, permission uh, is especially about my own uh, department pr dep- uh, panchayat raj department so if any chance is there i uh, definitely i'll be there and uh, personally we both can uh, honorable uh, kandreji and me will uh, come with a mou i think uh, officials would do the mou and if not i'll uh, send our uh, uh, respected colleagues and team and uh, they'll come and uh, they'll take forward the initiative and one more time uh, i'm grateful to you for sharing the knowledge and especially about red sanders the way uh, it is about andhra red sa i mean uh, red sand is rakta chandanam almost around 140 crores worth of red sanders were seized in karnataka this was a news for me yeah. <laughs> and it was amazing and they could have withheld it but with such a great heart karnataka forest uh, officials like they said it in very openly we seized your uh, red sanders in karnataka which is worth of 140 crores and 100 crores in uh, Uh, 2017 and in 24 it is 40 crores, and we are sh- short of funds there in AP. <laughs> we lack <like> funds, <laughs> and it is not about uh, what they seized. And he said, he said it. On, uh, I think uh, who said this? Dikshit, uh, Dikshit ji. Yeah, I think he said it in a very beautiful way. And already we have taken money from AP, so we will extend our services, our cooperation because. we have taken that wealth and we are more than willing to do it and that made me quite inspiring and uh, quite uh, grateful uh, for uh, saying those words which there was, there was no need you could have kept quiet in this meeting i think you would have never got to know uh, but uh, i truly appreciate the honesty of uh, uh, forest officials here and i'm uh, grateful to you and i'm quite uh, grateful to honorable uh, shri ishwar kandreji and thank you sir and i look forward to strengthen our relationship irrespective of which government which party we come from and after all we are all from one nation yeah we share the common culture we share the common lipi and uh, i'm extremely grateful to you sir and uh, looking forward not just about uh, forest it's all about all aspects of uh, karnataka and uh, uh, andhra pradesh relationships 
An honourable minister brought to my notice as is from Bida. Uh, so a lot of uh, devotees come to Sri Salem on walk, on barefoot, and uh, they were asking me. An honourable minister conveyed to me about Sri Salem. Uh, there should be some kind of renewal uh, about uh, uh, yes. renewal of land. Uh, renewal of land. Yes. Uh, definitely, I'll take it forward to the our cabinet, sir. We'll take it forward, and also about Tirumala also, Tirupati also. And though we, Tirupati and uh, Sri Salem, though it might be in Andhra, it belongs to the entire India. We are extremely committed to it. We'll extend the fullest, uh, whatever the possible support is needed. We'll take it forward and I'll uh, uh, convey it to the Honorable uh, CM Sri Chandra Babagar and also to the cabinet. So I'll take it forward. Thank you. And uh, I would like to convey my heartfelt thanks to Honorable CM Sri Siddharamaya Garu. And before uh, I came to this meeting, I uh, went to uh, Sri Siddharamaya Garu's house. I sought his support. I conveyed my heartfelt uh, thanks to him. And he also very positively responded, whatever is needed, we will uh, do it from our side. We will extend the full support and uh, I would like to thank him. And also Deputy CM Sri, though I haven't met him yet, DK Shukumar uh, Ji also, um, my heartfelt uh, uh, acknowledgements and thanks to him, my greetings to him, my namaskars to him. And thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Sir, what I'm sorry? We haven't discussed any. We dis we confine only to the seven point agenda, nothing else. Because uh, uh, we have uh, just few months, man, less than uh, two months, we came into government, and I told what exactly is needed. If you could uh, furnish the details, we will. Now I have represented the matter to the our deputy chief minister. He has promised me that he will look into it, examine it, and do whatever is possible. Yeah. Adi, each government has a very unique. For example, uh, uh, take Nepal. Nepal has a uh, uh, in uh, international treaty, which they said whatever has been uh, been uh, captured there, it will be should be sent back to the source country. So that kind of understanding is not there for the states. If, if they seize the property, I think normally I think uh, even if you seize the property of uh, Tamil Nadu, we will keep it here. I think that's the practice here. I think. Um, as I'll go into details later, but right now this is information I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, cinema is another issue than it's about uh, <laughs> governance and administration. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> so,